What's up, puppies? Welcome again to another Dragon Ball Super Content. And right now, I'm doing a deck profile of the Son Goku Jr. Uh, from the pre-release set of set 13. Uh, I joined uh, quite. Uh, I joined quite a lot of tournaments uh, from the past recent weeks, and joined also regionals. I haven't seen. I haven't seen any players using this uh, Son Goku Jr. Uh, but right now, I managed to make a one and try uh, playtesting it. It's quite good. It's quite fun. Uh, disclaimer: In this deck, I don't have the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Son Goku SR from the Battle Evolution, but I still managed to get a few tweaks of, of this deck. And let me just show it to you guys. So, for today's video, I have deck profile, and let's uh, start with this uh, leader. So the unawakened side, the front side of Sangyoko Jr. When you discard attack, lock up the top 5 cards from the top of your deck and add up to 1 Goku's lineage card among them to your hand then shuffle your deck. A really good uh, searcher for uh, Goku's lineage. Also, you can also uh, you can also get a super combo from this if, if you want. Because the super combo I'm gonna use is a Goku lineage pan. Uh, Active main once per turn. Place one card from your life in your drop area. Choose up to one Goku's lineage with energy cost of two or less in your hand and play it. This is a really good uh, uh, set. Uh, this is really good for setting up your lineage or for an aggro uh, playing the Sun Goten uh, lineage. Yeah, to play that uh, Go uh, Goten lineage, it, it was lifted from the band, so it's really great uh, coming back. Uh, coming back to play that Goten lineage. I'll show it to you later. And uh, when you have uh, four or less life, you may draw one card that switches to one of your energy to active and then flip this card open. Now the awakened side, it has critical bond to Goku lineage cards. When this card's attack, draw one card and this card get 5,000 power for the turn. Imagine a 20k crit. If you have uh, two Goku lineage in your board, uh, that was uh, that gives you a lot of pressure to your opponent. And you have an active main once per turn for a 3 yellow energy card. If you have 4 or more energy, then you choose 1 card in your hand and up to 1 Goku's lineage card with an energy cost 3 or less in your drop area. And place them on top of your deck in any order. Choose up to 1 Goku's lineage card with an energy cost of 8 in your hand and play it. There's one specific great card to play with this uh, active main. I'll show it to you later. And uh, it, uh, because of the condition of the putting 2 Goku lineage cards in your top of your deck is a really help for that card. I'll show you later what card is a really good play with this uh, active main leader. Alright, that's for the leader. Now let's go for the pieces of the cards. Of course, uh, coming with this uh, coming with this uh, deck is the Unison from the, also from the pre-release, this Unison uh, Son Goku. So uh, this is uh, one drop, uh, one cost uh, Unison with the 5k attack power. And uh, when you play this card, uh, when, when this card is played, look at the top, uh, look at the top three uh, cards from top of your deck up to one Goku Lynch card among them to your hand and place them, the remaining card at the bottom of your deck in, in order. A really great uh, searcher again for a Goku Lynch deck. And once per turn, when one of your Goku Lynch marker activates its warp, add a marker to this card. And it has a active main, uh, less three marker. Choose up to one Goku's lineage card with any because of 5 or less in your hand and play it. Also a good setup for uh, if you want to if you want to have a, a card that swap to 8 drop Sangoku. This is a really good uh, setup for that but I do have another play in my mind to use this active main in my deck. Alright, so 4 of this uh, unison. Alright, next is the, the one I told you earlier, this uh, Goten. This, uh, before it was banned, but now it has uh, Bandai lift, lifted up the ban of this uh, card. What does this card do? Uh, when this card is attack, look, look at the top 3 cards at the top of your deck. Choose up to 1 card among them and add card 1 to your hand and place the remaining at the bottom of your deck in any order. So, this is a really good searcher for any card. Top 3, look at the top 3, search for any card, uh, get 1 card from that and place the remaining at the bottom of your deck. Uh, really really good uh, searcher for what cards do you need and this is what uh, 
this is the card that for me to you uh, to use it from the active main of the front side of the leader play it for free just to crit, crit your life and attack with this uh, get one card and place the remaining at the bottom of the deck uh, use uh, play unison uh, place the remaining of the get one card i uh, get the one lord goku slinish place the remaining at the bottom of the deck and then attack with your leader the unawakened side the front side so that the cards that was put at the bottom of the deck can be sh shuffled after the front side leader attack so that's a really good synergy for it all right for the swap mechanics of this deck basically this is a swap deck of goku slinish of course since bardock sr bardock has still banned so this is a really great one drop uh, swap for the deck the adaptive father son gone it has a blocker and a free uh, and a, a free cost to swap to two so this uh, best two two drop uh, swap goku's lineage is this uh, uh son gohan it has buyer and uh, pay uh, two energy to swap it to a uh, three cost Goku's lineage. Uh, I have uh, three types of uh, no, I have four types of uh, three drop Goku's lineage here to be swapped from that Gohan. First off, is uh, three copies of this uh, in in, domi in in Dominatable Dynasty Super Saiyan and Goku. It has also buyer. Uh, and it has a uh, two cost energy for swap for another three cost uh, swap from Gohan is this that when you play this card, choose up to one your opponent's battle guard rest mode and KO it. Uh, it's a uh, you gonna you gonna play it uh, accordingly on how your opponents will go to his board or to his uh, deck. So if you want to if you want to uh, continue your swap up to four. Uh, playing safely you need to play this because it has buyer but if you want to control some of the board of your opponents that has no buyer you could, you could play this uh, but this card has no buyer so they can easily KO this card so it, it depends on how you play on how you respond to your opponent's deck and one of the great 3-drop uh, swap from Gohan is this uh, San Goku Path of Greatest, it's a promo card. And when you play this card, choose up to one your opponent's battle card and switch it to rest mode and draw one card. And it has a sparking and four cost uh, yellow energy to swap it. Yes, this is one of the cards that uh, shortcut to swapping it to eight drop the height of Master San Goku. Later, is, uh, I'll let you see it. And it has barrier. So. Another 3-drop uh, uh, swap, but I'm not using it to play, but I'm using it to combo defend for my yellow battle cards because uh, when you combo with this card, if one of your yellow battle cards is being attacked, the, this card gains plus 10,000 combo power for the duration of the turn. Imagine a 15k zero cost combo for defending your yellow battle card. So this uh, this just for uh, defending your... Uh, your opponent's attack when they attack the battle cards. All right, uh, let's go to the swap four for this. Uh, we have this uh, Dynasty Defender uh, Deferred Son Goku, and at the end of your turn, switch this card to active mode. So you can, after you you play this card using swap, you can attack it, and at the other turn, it will uh, be in active mode. It has barrier, and it has a three cost uh, energy yellow for swapping it to five. Another swap. Uh, four cards for this deck is this uh, Dynasty discovered Dynasty San Gohan when you play this with swap draw two cards are really good draw card for the swap four and it has a three cost yellow energy for swap five but it doesn't ah no it has a buyer but uh, it doesn't activate you when uh, when you attack after after the, at, the, at the end of the turn so it's just a draw two cards and of course the swap war but no need to play it because it's a uh, super combo so uh when you combo this card if your lady card is a yellow if, if your if your if your if your life is more or less uh plus ten thousand and draw one card it has also a swap 
uh, five three cost yellow energy, but I don't play this because it has no buyer. Your opponent can, can easily KO this uh, super combo, so uh, just make it sure it's in your hand just for a super super combo. All right, let's go to the five cost. Uh, swap energy, uh, swap uh, lineage. We have this uh, Kaioken San Goku from the uh, Battle Evolution set and it has a uh, double strike, 25k attack power and it has a 4 cost yellow energy for swap E and uh, an active main switch one of your Goku's lineage leader cards to active mode and negate its skill for the worm. So imagine uh, attacking twice with this leader but it, the second attack would, uh, would be just a normal attack because it would have uh, any critical and cannot draw for that attack but a 2 attack would be a nice for maybe ending the game. Alright, another uh, 5 drop is this uh, Pan, the Paragius Youth from Battle Evolution again. And it has a deflect so it will really comes into play. And when this card is played using swap, choose up to 1 Goku's Lineage card from your deck and up to 1 Goku's Lineage card from your hand and with each different card names, the energy goes of 5 and negate them uh, and uh, play them with their keyword skills negated for the turn then shuffle your deck if you're locked to it so uh it's a i, I, I still have a lot of five more cost uh, swap here i go so there are a lot of uh, options to play with and the auto of this card you will not, uh, you cannot use because basically you don't have any lineage uh and you don't have any heroine uh, card in this deck or your leader is not a heroine so you just uh, never mind the the second auto of this card. Other five costs uh, Goku's lineage is this uh, Sun uh, Super Saiyan Blue Sun Goku at, at the apex. Uh, when you play this card, if your leader card is Goku's lineage, you start to your first battle card and KO it. Uh, good board control. It has a double strike and a barrier and a four cost yellow energy for swap it. And this is another uh, very good from a starter deck. Uh, energy cost uh, four four yellow energy cost for swap eight and as an active main once per turn choose one card from your life and add it to your hand switch this card to active mode and if you have two or less life this card gains triple strike so this is a really great card for finishing the game and this is this is the card I've been telling you that you can play with this uh, uh, unison because if you have uh, if you want to go for the game and you don't have any the 8 drop uh, swap Goku Sinage in your hand you can play this and basically you can attack twice with this card and if you manage to have a 2 or less life for the second attack you gain triple strike and it's a really good uh, game ender for uh, the game alright for the 8 drop uh, of course the height of mass race and Goku uh, it has a uh, deflect, so uh, this will basically come into board. It has triple strike and dual attack. And when you play this card using swap, choose up to one of your, uh, choose up to three, up to total of three of your opponent's battle card energy or energy, ignoring barrier, sense and switch them to rest mode. So this is a really good finisher. Uh, it doesn't have barrier though, but deflect really uh, comes into play, and you play this with swap. Uh, you can rest uh, three of the your opponent's card battle cards or energy. It's a really, uh, a really, really good uh, mechanics for that. And yeah, combo it uh, uh, using this. Uh, you can play uh, any. Uh, you can play this for for uh, swapping those. Uh, you can uh, using this uh, unison. You can play this. You can play one of these three. And so you just need to uh, less three marker of this card. You can play one of these three and then swap it to this lineage uh, height of masters and Goku to play. So that's a really really good uh, mechanics for it. Uh, of course, some of the tech decks of this card. Of course, one of these uh, Swift Retaliation Color, a counter counter. Uh, I think most of the yellow decks are running one of these for a counter counter. Uh, two of the order the second champa for double strike. If you manage to have a crit because of a bond two in your leader, use this uh, for double strike crit. So you have a 20 attack plus 10k, 30k attack double strike crit. That would be a give you your opponents a lot of pressure. Let's go for the extra cards. 
Okay, two of the successor of Hope, uh, very good uh, searcher for a uh, five or less Goku lineage with a swap skill. Basically, you can search this uh, super combo with this successor of Hope. So, and uh, one of the common gates, staple gates for yellow, is the flying boss, stopping the aggro, stopping your opponent's aggro to your deck. And this uh, Power of Saiyan uh, extra card is a really good uh, card. You can play this for free. You can activate its battle for free if you have one active yellow energy. So, one active energy. So, uh, uh, one active mono yellow energy. So, you can play this. Uh, you can play this uh, for free, the active battle. Or you can choose to negate the attack. But you have to pay for the negate attack. But the active battle only plays once per turn. So it uh, active battle uh, you need uh, you you could draw one and choose one of your opponent's uh, battle card or uh, means on uh, leader. Ah, uh, sorry, uh, draw one card. They choose one of your opponent's battle card or unison card and switch it to rest mode. So uh, really good control for it. Of course, one of the staple of the negates. Recently, is this uh, Freezer Army Enforcement? This is a two-time, uh, two-time uh, stop for your opponent. First of, first off, is you get to negate the attack, and after you negate the attack, play a uh, uh, Freezer Token, a uh, Freezer Army Token with a blocker skill. So uh, imagine uh, uh, you can stop two attacks from from the turn, and you can play this by getting if you have. Five or less life, you can play this for free. Just get one card from your life to your hand, and of course, the SCR for this deck is this uh, distance descendants and Goku Jr. Why I choose this uh, SCR for this deck because this is one of the great you don't need to play this for swap for the effects to uh, activate, you can just play this from this leader's ability for three cost. And when you play this card, it has a triple strike. And when this card's attack, look at the top seven of your deck. Choose any Goku's lineage battle cards there and use it to combo with this Goku's lineage attack. And if there are five different card games of Goku's lineage in that uh, combo, your opponents will create two life. So this is a really good setup for uh, leader. This uh, this leader good setup for this SCR because, as I mentioned earlier, you take out one Goku's lineage, uh, two two Goku's lineage card from your hand and put it on top of your deck. So you have now two sure two cards that has a different card names in your top of your deck. So when this card is up, just only a five. You just only need a five different Goku's lineage card in that top 7 and you're gonna create 2 life of your uh, opponent and also even though the opponent negate this attack the auto still goes on and you still you still get to look at the top 7 of your deck you still you can still choose the cards you want to combo and if you have 5 uh, go synergy with different card names in it you're gonna create 2 life from, from your opponent <coughs> excuse me so that's why I re that's why I have a lot of uh, Goku's lineage cards in this deck. So maybe you're asking earlier why I have so many Goku's lineage cards in this deck that doesn't need really in this deck because of this. So that you have a lot of option and it will be a higher chance of success rate for uh, doing the auto of this card. So yeah. So basically, this is my Goku's lineage deck. I hope you learned something and um. I haven't tried it yet in the tournament and I'm really planning to try this uh, uh, on, to, uh, on the tournament uh, in the future and yeah it has no Super Saiyan 3 and Goku SR from Battle Revolution but this is what I have and you can maybe you can tweak it or comment down below what you think much better for this deck so yeah thank you guys for watching I do hope you learned something and I do hope uh, uh, you stay tuned for more uh, on this hobbyist channel. Subscribe, like, and like this video. Comment down below what do you think. Thank you guys for watching. See you again next time. Bye.